Coming up next, it's... Coming up next, it's... What are you doing? Nothing. Coming up next, it's Investigation Ouch. Gotcha. Crikey! Now, they may look icky, but lice are very common. Studies have shown that as many as one in three children are likely to get head lice during the year. So how do we get rid of them? Meet Justine Armitage. She's a head louse's worst nightmare, and she's got a rather special technique. We'll hoover Courtney's hair with a specialist lice hoover. Did she say lice hoover? A specialist lice hoover. That's affirmative. For every live lice there is, We'll catch it in the filter, so we can count how many there are. Is it quite fun doing it? Is it quite satisfying? Yes, quite mouth-watering when you see lots. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we can suck up. Make sure you get into the corners. After a thorough treatment, how's Courtney coping with being, uh, hoovered? Nice. She likes... Time to see what Courtney's bonce has been keeping secret. So we've managed to catch several lice, and you can see them crawling around in here. So why do lice love hair so much? Well, it's warm, it's near a blood supply, your scalp, which is what they feed on, and they can also anchor their eggs to hair, which means they're very safe and well protected. Your hair is the perfect environment for head lice. Lice make you feel itchy because they poo on your head. Now, that's disgusting, but it isn't dangerous. And, in fact, it's quite useful because it's the itchiness that lets you know you've got them. Now, we've caught the adult lice, but the next step is to find the eggs. A special fine-tooth comb is scraped through Courtney's hair to remove them. Let's see how many we've combed out. Oh, you've got loads. One louse can lay a hundred eggs at a time. They're also called nits. A week later, they'll all hatch into lice, and those lice just keep breeding. So at the end of the month, one louse has become a thousand head lice. Just as well we've got these guys out. How are you feeling, Courtney? Fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely. I've come to see entomologist Vince Smith from the Natural History Museum. So, Vince, lice aren't the only things that live harmlessly on our bodies, are they? No, that's right. We've also got this other parasite called a Demodex mite. And with these, the older that you are, the more likely you are to have them. So let's see if we can find some. Vince is scraping the skin around my eyes to try and collect enough gunk to test. But he doesn't get much, so we go into my ear. It's a good pile of gunk on there, so let's see what we can find. I'm sort of hoping he doesn't find anything. Vince is looking through the microscope, and I can see everything he sees on this screen here. <laughs> You're loaded. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's moving. Absolutely. That just came out of my ear. That's fantastic. What does he mean, fantastic? Who is this guy? In the daytime, those mites are living inside the little follicles of your hair cells. And then during the nighttime, they come out, and they're moving around, trying to find all their mates. So every night, there's a bit of a party in my ear. So these mites are pretty disgusting, but actually, they're not doing me any harm. In fact, they're useful because they help clean the gunk from your ear. We're carrying around all of these passengers. And this is just the start. There are many other human parasites that we've got, too. But remember, don't worry, if you ever get lice, it's quite normal and treatable. I've had them. Plus, we all have other little creatures living on us, helping us out with things like the cleaning. Nice work. But they'd better not keep me up all night with their partying. 